I think the biggest red flags for us initially were the uh, clothes just being laid, the way they were placed. You thought they looked staged. We, we believed initially that Jason may have, you know, just thrown them out there. But the more we examined it, the more we ran it by some of our, the, t the team, they, we all agreed that it, it appeared like it was staged. And uh, the more people we spoke to, uh, we developed a fairly robust intel base here in Luling. Uh, the more we learned that there was a criminal element here in Luling. And we discovered that there were folks here that, uh, you know, had told us a lot about um, these individuals that were um, involved in criminal activity here. Drug activity. Drug activity, correct. And we started exploring that angle. Um, we didn't believe Jason was um, involved in any kind of heavy drugs other than smoking marijuana. Uh, we believe that maybe something happened at that intersection Magnolia uh, Street there in Austin. And we believe that that's where he may have encountered somebody, somebody that either he knew or may not have known that night, but something happened at that intersection. So you're not convinced Jason Landry was ever on Salt Flat Road? No, not at all. Not at all.